into another musical adventure in time travel. Today I'm going to talk about um, my first album which I recorded um, a couple of years ago, um, King David's Liar Echoes of Ancient Israel, and also the sequel to this one, um, A Liar of the Levites. A um, little bit first of all about the albums, they are um, basically dedicated to recreating the sound of the Temple Lyre, once played in the Temple of Jerusalem by my very own, very ancient Levite ancestors. Now that's what I call roots music. <laughs> anyway, um, this incredible lyre, it was, um, it was illustrated on um, these coins from the second century at the time of the Simon Bar Kokhba revolt against the revolting Romans in Judea. Um, I'll just put an extreme close up and you can see Here's an illustration of the type of lyre once played in the, time, in the Temple of Jerusalem, called the Kinor. So, how did I become interested in, how, how did I become interested in playing these obscure instruments? Um, well, I chanced to find um, this incredible instrument after finding um, a CD on Amazon, in fact, about five years ago, um, called Music... In the, um, what's it called? Ancient Echoes, um, music from the time of Jesus and Jerusalem's Second Temple by the um, Sant Antonio Vocal Ensemble, I think that's pronounced. Um, incredible, incredible album, which um, featured replica lyres like this one, once played 2,000 years ago in the Temple of Jerusalem. And it also introduced me to the work of a very obscure, little unheard of, um, late Jewish composer, called Susan Haik Van Chora, who incredibly deciphered the original music on the Psalms, and in fact attached to the, the original music once sang in the Temple of Jerusalem, from some obscure notation that was um, attached to the oldest surviving text of the Hebrew Bible. Fascinating stuff. Anyway, more about that on my amazing website, www.ancientliar.com. Check out the historical research section. Uh, that aside, um, what fascinated me about ancient music is my origins, actually, as a klezmer fiddler, hence the name of my YouTube channel. And here's what I prepared earlier. Um, think about klezmer music, that's the um, Jewish instrumental music that was used to be played in Eastern Europe. The scales used in it are incredibly ancient, mid, mid, uh, Middle Eastern scales, and I became fascinated by the ultimate origins of these scales. Because in klezmer music, um, the scales um, are derived from the singing in the synagogue. But while I was thinking about it, the singing in the synagogue ultimately is derived maybe from an oral memory of the singing once sang 2,000 years ago in the Temple of Jerusalem. And this got me absolutely fascinated. When I researched further into the klezmer modes and discovered Susan Haik Ventura, hey presto, I found that some of the same scales I was playing klezmer music on in my fiddle were played 2,000 years ago. On these things, the um, kinor, the uh, biblical kinor, the lyre of the Levites. Amazing. And the piece I'm going to play, um, a live performance on my nice little lyre, is one of the klezmer tunes that I knew from my little klezmer fiddle days. Um, this one is called, uh, it's track nine on the album, Candles Horror it's called in the klezmer circle, sometimes known as Yiddish Horror. Uh, this one it sounds like on fiddle. Um, it's a little blast. That's just a little bit of an outline of the tune. Um, it, but when it's played on this amazing instrument, the sound is completely transformed into something awesome. And the scale um, that that tune is played in is um, known in klezmer circles as the Aharava. Aba, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Aharava or a bounteous love mode. I don't know why it's called bounteous love or abundant love. I can't remember exactly what the Hebrew translation is. Um, but this particular scale um, is very ancient in, and in the Middle East it's known as the high jazz mode and can be heard around the Middle East, and it's been there for millennium. And even in ancient Greece, um, this scale pops up. Um, 
where it's known, uh, as I say, as the chromatic Dorian mode. Um, when I talk about Dorian, I don't mean about um, the equivalent intervals of D to D on the white notes of the piano. Due to a mix-up in the Middle Ages, all the original names of the ancient Greek modes are given the wrong Greek names. The ancient Greek Dorian mode was E to E on the white notes of the piano, and the chromatic Dorian mode has um, a G sharp in it, so a, a, raised, a, a raised third. Very mystical sound, this scale. And it pops up all over the place. It can also be heard in flamenco music, presumably introduced by the Moors to Spain, I would imagine. But it's rarely enchanting, and after discovering the work of Susan Hake Ventura, I found that it's also heard in the original biblical music. Anyway, enough of my ramblings. Um, the tune will now be transformed back 2,000 years on my biblical lyre. Enjoy the musical adventure in time travel. Oh, please buy my, quite frankly, amazing CD, King David's Lyre, Echoes of Ancient Israel, which is available from cdbaby.com and is also available for download from iTunes and Amazon MP3 store. That's the plug out of the way with. Bye for now.